Hey there, welcome back to my channel. That's a Jeffree Star intro if I've ever heard one. Anyways, hello, welcome back. And I say welcome back with such a heavy heart because it has been a while and I've missed you guys so freaking much. <sighs> I digress. Um, hello, welcome to COVID-19. It is I don't, I have so many updates for you guys. I don't even know where to start. I have no idea where. Um, first off, leave me in the comments how you've been doing, what you've been doing to get over this and the whole social, so I cannot say that word, any S word, social isolation, because if any of you live alone, like moi, um, you would know that it's a little, I mean, it's not that weird because I do live alone and like I'm used to being alone on a daily basis, but just the mere fact that like, now that I have to be alone all the time, I want to not be alone. Does that make sense? And by alone, I just, I want to be with my friends, not necessarily like a boyfriend or anything. Don't have one if you wanted to know that, which is a-okay with me. Um, outfit of the day, I'm wearing not a cute fanny pack, but this was before fanny packs were cool. I still have it. I'm just really old black Adidas. Uh, they are completely worn down on the bottom. No big deal. I no longer wear them for running. They're just for my hiking, which I'm about to go hiking. I have my Saris Day pants, and they are super cute. They have, like, a little Dalmatian print on them. And then I have a Target top. And then, if you can see in the back, my Saris Day uh, matching sports bra. And a Better Bodies hat. Like, this stays on my head so well. Like, I don't necessarily love it, but it's, like, perfect for not like working out with it and like i went running the other day with it and no slippage at all none at all um so yeah anyways that's my ootd and maybe i'll get some footage going to the park Look what my friend got me this. It was my birthday on Friday. I turned 30, you guys. I am 30 years old now. Updates. I I don't I, I don't I don't know where to start. I do not know where to start. I am struggling. I'm struggle busting real hard. What kind of job I wanna know what kind of jobs you guys have because it has been such a bizarre experience transitioning from being in a school in counseling to being online now fully in counseling and I I'm struggling not having my hall passes because like I like having control of the situation where I know all my kids are in the building and I can get any of them like any second it's so, like I've been struggling checking my emails non-stop doing check-ins like I don't know how my kids are all doing and that's been really hurting me so if any of you guys if you're teachers you just work in education at all you understand like where I'm coming from with how like awful this has been but at the same time you just have to get creative and find different outlets for them I've been doing YouTube videos for them every week and they seem to really like that I think just having that face-to-face -face contact has been really nice and part of the reason why I wanted to come back here because I like I said, I'm struggling a little bit with the um, fact that I don't have I, like people at my immediate like help to say hello or anyone even face to face. Like I am feeling a little bit like I'm getting cabin fever. You know what I mean? I, I feel like you guys do. We're all in this right now together at the same time. So I really wanted to make sure you guys are okay. I'm doing well. If any of you are wondering, I'm doing very well only just missing interaction because as much as I thought like I knew I was a social person like I got in trouble all growing up like I would get detentions just because I love talking to people during class I was like a social butterfly is how my teachers um described me and I, that was just my thing I love communicating with people and FaceTime is great telephone calls are great there's just that person-to-person -person interaction that I crave Anyways, 
Um, little update also, I um, I put my resignation in for the end of the school year, and this was before any of this was happening. Uh, I'm only slightly, slightly nervous just because uh, I don't know what is going to happen with like job security. A lot of people got laid off. Like a lot of people are struggling. I've been really, really thankful that with I, at least in our school, um, I'm in Ohio we're all getting paid through the summer. Like there's not gonna be a, there's, they're not gonna stop pay. We're also really lucky that we have um, a one-to-one -one technology. So that means all of our kids went home with a Dell laptop, which is amazing. Um, and so all of them can still continue online learning unless there are a few percentages that just don't have internet and don't have the um, capability of getting internet. Spectrum, a lot of different internet providers are giving out free internet to um, the kiddos that don't have that at home for financial reasons or whatever the case may be, but there are still some kids that they actually just cannot get internet and for them. Um, again, it's where you have to get creative in it. So yeah, uh, my plan pre-COVID-19 and right now is to um, move. I want to get out of the Dayton area, which is where I'm at right now in Ohio. I want to, I'm thinking, um, here's my strategy right now. Ugh, I could be coming to a city near you. I'm thinking Columbus, St. Louis, Nashville, San Francisco is like one of those like, mm, I don't think I can afford um, living there, <laughs> but I love San Francisco. So I, I put it on like a maybe, I don't know, list. Um, and maybe Austin. I have not been to Austin. I've just heard really cool things and I'm just ready for a life change. I, like I said, I'm single. I am 30 now. I need just a change. Right now I've been in like the Dayton area for around, oh god, if I'm 30, 12 years. I mean, give and take a few because a couple years I was living with my parents, but 10 years, let's say 10 years, um, I'm ready to migrate elsewhere. And I think that I just, I need this. I need this really bad. I need to change. I'm probably going to still be a school counselor. Um, if for some reason I cannot get a job as a school counselor, wherever I end up moving, I will look into like college, something within like higher education or even, what are you doing, kitty? Or even doing something out of the box. I don't know. I have no idea. My sister works at Abercrombie um, and Fitch headquarters and she was giving me a couple job options there that aren't in my degree realm. I have a master's in school counseling, but um, sound like something that I would actually enjoy doing and probably pay a little bit better too. So we'll see. I'll let you guys know as <laughs> the job hunt continues. I've only applied to two schools so far, so I still have a lot of work to do. Um, and other than that, <sighs> updates. Oliver is doing super well. He's right here. He's huge, right? You're so big. Yes. Um, Chester is... Oh, he's probably behind my mirror here. Oh, yes it is. Yes it is. Hello. Hello. You can come out. I was just vacuuming, so he got a little antsy because he does not like the vacuum. Come on. I'm going to show you guys my new office tour because I had to move uh, my office home. So let's go do that. Get a little bit similar to my office. Um, that way it feels like my workspace. I wanted to keep like my setting as um, like structured as possible. And so it felt like I was still a counselor um, because I still have all the same duties that I had then just a little more difficult because I don't have as much resources at my disposal. Okay, you guys, I gotta go to the park. Maybe I'll show you guys some beautiful footage and then if I don't see you again, um, I have a trunk club over here. I um, signed up because they were having a promo where you got 25% off your entire trunk um, and they don't do that, so I signed up to get a trunk. I'll do a video if you guys wanna see uh, outfit of the day, not outfit of the day, <laughs> a haul and then try on. I will do that. Just leave it in the comments below if you're interested. Um, and I love you guys and I will be back. I hope you guys are doing well. See you soon. Bye.